Manny Pacquiao won the WBA welterweight championship on Saturday night at the age of 40. And now people are talking about a possible rematch with Floyd Mayweather. But Floyd is 42. His last official fight was back in 2017. His first fight against Manny was four years ago. Pacquiao's trainer, Freddie Roach, will be here in studio with us later. And he said, quote, we're not just fighting for fun. So if Mayweather comes around, great. Uh, Shannon, if the money is right, should Floyd take a fight against Manny? Yes. Really? He should. Really? And, really? Yes, really? and he would. Wow. Um, Skip, look, this is, we know this is why Manny, Manny wants to try to avenge what uh, he think was a wrong. He believe in his heart, you, three people, Manny Pacquiao, <laughs> Skip Bayless, and Evander Holyfield believe that Floyd Mayweather won that fight. I mean, not Floyd. Manny won the fight Maybe against Floyd. Maybe Freddie Roach will Freddie? find out. Okay, yeah. We'll find yeah. out. We'll so we know that. three for sure because they've yeah. gone on record okay. to say that Manny won yeah. the fight. Um, look, yeah, sure, he wanted to get 50 and 0 because Rocky Ar Marciano, I think, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. was 49 and 0. And 50 and 0, he gets to say, I'm the greatest of all time. I'm a retired champ, undefeated. But the one thing that we know about Floyd Skip that he loves money. He does. He loves what money, not only having it, but what it can do, what it can possess for him. The watches, the homes, the the, the jets, the cars. And I believe, and everybody says, I ain't watching it. I saw it last time it was a bum. I wish they had fought. Guess what? Everybody's going to line up again and pay 100 bucks and 110 for high def to watch Manny Pacquiao, 40-year-old, 41-year-old Manny Pacquiao, possibly fighting 43-year-old Floyd Mayweather, I, Skip. I am with you on that. Everybody says they're not, but yep. they're going to guess what? They're yep. going to get it. Yep. And, and guess what? Let's just say for the sake of argument, this happened. Manny won. Guess what that means? Even more money for a rematch, Skip. Mm -hmm. So Floyd Mayweather can stand to bank half a billion to three quarters of a billion dollars in two fights. Mm -hmm. I believe he would be willing to risk that unblemished record for that kind of payday. Mm. And I think Manny Pacquiao showed enough against Thurman. Now, maybe they said he possibly could fight the winner of Sean Porter, Earl Spence Jr. Now, let's just say we, I mean, we're doing hypothetical here. He wins... Oh. He beats Porter or Spence Jr. Mm -hmm. That's got to be worth $300 million to Floyd. Mm -hmm. I think Floyd's willing to take that fight. Mm. Okay. So, I want to go on record <laughs> as saying, I think you and I would agree on only one premise here. Would we have loved to have seen these two fight when they were 23 and 25? Yes. 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 And it just didn't come to be. Right. For whatever reasons, right. it never quite connected. Different weight classes, right. di different ranges of, of opponents. Right. And a lot They're of fighting in 2009, 2010, when they were really in their okay. prime. W whatever. I, I wish we could have, but yeah. we didn't. Right. And we got them fairly late in their careers. Yes. More than four years ago. Yes. And Manny tore his rotator cuff. And the reason I'm, I know this happened, he had to have surgery the next day. Now, you can make the contention he tore it during the fight, but I saw no evidence of that. Yeah. Yes. I, all I, those swing and misses. All those swing and misses. <laughs> <laughs> every, every, Everybody's every going to swing and miss some at Floyd, if not a yeah. whole lot. I give you that much. Yeah. But given that that fight was not pure to me, it was not fair fight. It wasn't a level playing ring, so sure. to speak. I, I'll take it at 40 and 42, or to your point, 41 and 43, if we have to go that far yeah. out. But I would like to see this happen sooner than later. And yes, I will buy it. And yes, I will be all over it. And yes, I can't talk enough about it because Manny has been driven to get revenge. Yes. For, for years over this. And he's every time he's been on the show with us or wh wherever yeah. we've been, that's all he's talked about is Floyd. He takes shot, little quiet. He's not a, a real trash talker, yeah. Manny, which has sort of hurt his mystique a little yeah. bit, but he he just knows it's kind of part of the hype. But but when he talks about Floyd, it's not hype anymore. Yeah, you say he just run. He, that's, he <laughs> just <laughs> runs. He just runs. And, and he's talking about running out of the ring right. and inside the <laughs> ring, right? Yeah. So here's the point. Manny shocked me the other night, and I think he, he shocked you he because did. he looked sharper, he looked quicker, he looked more explosive than he has at any time since going back before the Floyd fight. Yes. Well, okay, so he's reinvented himself. Right. He's reinvigorated. He looked like a credible fighter because he beat a very credible opponent yeah, in Keith Thurman, yes. right? Yes. He was undefeated and 10 years younger. Well, 
my my issue, I, I didn't want to see two geezers get in the ring and just kind of <laughs> like slap each other yeah. around. But uh, that guy I saw the other night was not a geezer. Right. He looked like 40 going on 30. Right. And Floyd Mayweather Jr., I give him this. He was born fit. I yes. don't know how, but he's just born. He just He's just fit. Yeah, he works out all the time. He's, yeah. he's a skip. He's a naturally small man. So making 147 is nothing to him because he probably walks around about 155. And, and I don't. Yeah, and maybe. I see him fairly regularly at courtside, ringside, yeah. wherever. Yeah, sure. He, he looks great. Yeah. He looks. He doesn't look like he's aged right. at all. Yeah. So do I think if you gave him, I don't know, three months to get ready, could he get ready? Sure. He well, could. I don't think they, they would fight. They wouldn't fight this year, Skip. It would probably be sometime. It would probably be sometime early next year, February, March. But, you know, Floyd likes to fight on May fifth. For whatever reason, he likes Cinco de Mayo. He likes fighting on that weekend. Maybe. Normally, things are scheduled around that time. Skip, I, I still, Floyd is still confident that he could beat Manny Pacquiao, and he wouldn't fight Manny Pacquiao like Keith Thurman fought Manny Pacquiao. But in the same breath, Floyd wouldn't fight Manny like he fought Conor McGregor. Okay. So he's not going to be just in the pocket. He's not going to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Floyd is a counterpuncher. You touch him, he's going to touch you back one-two. That's what he does, Skip. He pot, pot shots and moves. He's not going to stand toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Thurman got, got, in his thing, got in his mind like, okay, I'm going to try and get him out of there. I'm going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. He's 40 years old. Guys get that age. They lost something, and he's... I'm sure you surprised Keith Thurman. I mean, if you ask Keith Thurman right now, uh, did you think Manny Pacquiao yeah. had that in him? He's probably going to say, no, I did not think he had okay. that. So is it wise for Manny to risk ruining what, what he pulled off on Saturday night by taking on Errol Spence Jr.? Like, it's, mm. it, I, I wasn't sure he could beat Keith Thurman. I was doing kind of heart overhead in my head. You yes. know, like, like I, I think he can, but I'm not sure. Well, I'm less sure he could beat <laughs> Errol Spence Jr. <laughs> yeah. So are you going to risk this mega fight? Because right now, we don't have a mega fight that no. we're looking forward to. We don't have a UFC mega clash, no. do we? Is no. there anything where we're saying, I can't wait to no. see that? But, but to your point, hey, if it's Manny and Floyd again, will you? Yes. Yeah. Yes, people we're, will line up to watch We it. thought we were going to have a mega fight between Anthony Heavyweight, Anthony Joshua, and Dante Wilder. Okay. And then Ruiz said, uh, how about I know, no? I know. And so now. And, and, and even then, it's not quite mega to me. Right. I, I don't know if the star power is, is anywhere near this kind of star. This has history to it. Well, yeah, because you, you're, dealing with, you're dealing with an eight-division champion. You're dealing with a four- or five-division champion. Arguably, you know, you're making the case. You can make a case that Floyd Mayweather is the greatest boxer you, of all. You you can make a case, make and case. you can make a case that Manny is one of the greatest of all oh, time if you look at the rise through yeah. the weight classes, yeah, right? Yeah, he started out fighting at, what, 106, and he yeah. comes all the way up and wins the title at 154? It, it is incredible. It, it's ring royalty, right. and even though we got 40 and 42, right. if you put them back in the ring together, I think people know in their hearts, in the back of their minds, this, this is special stuff. Yeah. These are two... St you know, all timers. Right. Okay. I thought Manny was washed skip because he had lost the ability. Really? He could. He wasn't knocking. If he had fought like this against Jeff Horn, oh. he'd have mopped the floor with Jeff oh. Horn. I'm like, what is? I, what that, are you that night, I thought that's it. I mean, that's that's all. Like, who is this? I'm like somebody. Hey, somebody kidnapped Manny Pacquiao. Uh, okay. I didn't know that's Manny Pacquiao because he got elected. You know, he's a politician right. and he's got responsibility and he's got all sorts of and, and so many people are pulling at yes. him from different directions and he's given a lot of money to a lot of charitable contrib you know, a lot of contributions in uh, the Philippines yeah. and then uh, what's left yeah. of him? Exactly. Well, uh, somehow he got himself back together. How about this, Skip? This fight might be closer than you think. Guess who promotes Manny Pacquiao now? Uh, Al Heyman. That's the it's same. A weird, it's a weird cross. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Now Al Heyman, you don't yep. see him. He don't say much. No. He's old school. He stays behind the shadows. Yep. He like making big money too. Mm. And that's be a big old pay. Skip, that's another five hundred million dollar fight. I don't care how you slice it up, because like you said, because there's nothing big on the horizon. Maybe if you had a UFC, you had Jones and Cormier or something. Yep. something. You had Conor McGregor was gonna yep. fight uh, uh, Nate Diaz or somebody mm. like that, or maybe Khabib again. Mm -hmm. But there's nothing on the horizon. There's nothing that moves the needle in, in combat sports right now. No. Nope. Hmm. As old as these two guys are, they still move the needle more than anybody and, and else. Just remember this fighting. for perspective. We just talked about him in, in the top of the show. Right. Mm -hmm. Tom Brady is about to be 43, and he is still, in my eyes, the best quarterback in football and the reigning Super Bowl champ. So if he's 43, it sort of brings 40 and 42 into some perspective, right? But you know, thinking, but to see what scares me about. 
Floyd, is, is that as we age, our reflexes, they start to dissipate. Now, imagine how quickly they dissipate when you're not doing what you normally do. Because if you're used to walking and all of a sudden you become stationary, okay. all of a sudden all it right. starts to bother you. Floyd hadn't really fought Skip in two years. Two years, which brings me to a quote I'm going to read from, I was talking to a boxing insider I cannot name, but I was talking to him last night, and here's his quote. Floyd's spend rate has to, to make him need a fight he may not want. Mm. So think about this, the spin rate as in he's, he's spins. Money, yeah, exactly. he spins. Yes. He's, every time I look up, he's flashing big money. Got, okay? got, got a bundle. And I ain't talking about the cable package. Mm -hmm. Are you bundle, Jenny? I'm talking about the home bundles. Yep. So <laughs> the point is he may not want that Manny that he saw Saturday night because it's some risk to 50 and 0. Do you want to risk 50 and 1? Well, now we get back to the nickname is Money Mayweather. Yes, money is more important to him than 50 and 0. Oh, boy. Right? But, yeah, of course. Because guess what, Skip? If I risk that for 50 and if I risk, if I'm willing to risk 250 million for 50 and 1, mm -hmm. well, I damn sure would risk 300 million for 50 and 2. Okay. Ooh. Uh -huh. And that's what he, and like you said, the spring rate. Skip, that lifestyle that this man has, mm -hmm. private jazz and staying in, in, in probably $25,000, $50,000 a night room for weeks on end. How many cars does he own? I don't know. But uh, well, I saw one, he had seven Rolls Royces. <laughs> he got seven. a, he, yeah, he got two, three Bugattis. Who seven? He got Enzo Ferrari. I mean, he got, I mean, come on, man. Okay. Yeah, it costs money. Okay. Bill, listen, Six the man bought an $18 million dollar watch. Skip, there are billionaires that don't have AT. Normally, when you have that kind of money, normally people buy paintings, something that appreciates in value. Mm. You know, you hang up, you know, a Picasso mm. or a Rembrandt, sure, car, sure. something mm -hmm. on the wall. You don't normally buy a watch. Mm. Or you don't normally buy, you know, you know, I like my bag. You know, they call me, yeah, yeah. they call me the, you know, king of the Louis Duffel. Well, he Is the king. Yeah, they call, they call me the king of the they Louis Duffel. They call you that? The king of the Louis oh, oh. Duffel. yourself that name. So that's why you just go to the airport every afternoon and just walk around with your Duffel. Yeah, and the king of Louis Duffel. Duffel. Yep. But see, mm. Floyd got them Hermes. Mm. Them Hermes. Yeah. Mm. Now, them things kept. I know. I got it. Yeah. And then he got bundles in, in them bags. Man, you see that money he walking around with, Jenny? Yeah, it's scary. That's a I meal. Mm. That's a meal, Skip. Okay. So I will conclude this discussion with what I tweeted yesterday afternoon, which is, what? Floyd, I dare you to get your you-know-what kicked by Manny Pacquiao. I dare you. Yeah, for 300, I dare you. Yeah, for 300 million. Okay. There are a lot of people take an ass whipping for okay. 300 million. All right. And Floyd might, be, <laughs> Floyd might be one of them. This Manny is on a mission. Oh, he look good, Skip. You know? I mean, the dark, like I said, but Floyd is not going to fight him like Keith Thurman mm -hmm. now. So, mm -hmm. you, know, you know, look, Floyd is a... If you expect fireworks, because they say style makes fight. Mm -hmm. Skip, if I go, if you go into a fight, if I got a bat, you got a bat, that's gonna be a very interesting fight. But if I, you come with nothing and mm -hmm. I got a bat or a chain, mm -hmm. that ain't gonna be no good fight. Nope. Well, Floyd don't come to fight, Skip. You know what he comes to do. He'll come to throw a pot shot here to poop. Mm -hmm. I'm over here, come follow me around, poop, poop. I'm over there, follow me around. That's what he does. He's not gonna go toe to toe like Thurman was really to slug it out he, with Manny something. Yeah, oh, I want this to happen now. Mm. You guys have me all ready oh, for you it. You know what? You be see what you you want to be at this one because mm. you want to see Floyd go down. Mm. That's all you wanted to fight for. You wanted him to go down. I am willing to get splattered <laughs> with Floyd's blood at ringside. <laughs> you willing? You yep. know, and plus, you want you want your money back that you lost to pops on that suit. We could, double, we could double or nothing on that. We've got Freddie on later, though, so we'll have so much more to talk about when it comes to this one. But we're going back to the NFL.